Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, <laughs> and we know who the killer is! What? Don't go! <laughs> Welcome back, my nerds, geeks, and my weebs to Don Gon Ronpa. I am your host, Arden Murphy. Here we are, about to start the trial, y'all. We gotta figure out who killed our precious waifu, Sakura. Let's do it. Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator. But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. Man, no kidding. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered uttering its all-too-familiar clunking sounds. God damn, man, look at how few people we got left. It's fucking six of us, man. It fell lower and lower, and as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few! You must be so lonely! You say that like it's not your fault we're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or... <laughs> will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. Are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yes, I'm gonna save that beta. Oh, let's see what skills we got here. Um... We got menacing focus. Okay, that's the better one. Increases the time limit for each phase. There we go. Um, I don't think we have anything else we can equip. Yeah, I think we got everything else. Allows you to lock onto two statements at once. Effective during the bullet time battle costs four SP. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I think we got everything equipped. Booyah. Let's do it. All rise, motherfucker. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. As if we haven't done this fucking three other times already. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one... Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? We already know who did it. Whoa, deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. The Akuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, rude. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I'd never kill someone, no way! I can kind of believe Hero. he's kind of too dumb to fucking do anything like that. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses! Hina seems really sure that one of these three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. I always account. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. 
That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. Oh, it's got to be Hero's statement. Some concrete reason why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she's mentioned it before. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? There we go. No, that's wrong. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. I can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Then does that mean one of them did it? Uh, 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 fuck. Fuck it, trash. <laughs> the fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them, there's no way that's not suspicious. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Mm. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Bullshit. <laughs> no, you fucked up earlier pretty hard there, buddy. Chiro, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? I don't know, man. Why are you so sweaty? Red polka dots? That's got to be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Uh-huh. Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura. It's the only explanation. Uh, um, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, sure, I got it from her, but, but she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. But what Hiro said can't be right. Because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. And the reason I know that is... Uh, Hiro got the candy. No. When she got it. A gun! I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh... Yes? Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Uh, I mean, bro, we're investigating her murder, so, you know... Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! <laughs> you are hostility. <laughs> oh my god. It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Oh, throw it on us, buddy! Huh? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. What would a shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? Mm. It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. Let's be honest. It's a little too fucking obvious, right? See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way! I didn't do it! You just don't know when you're beat, do ya? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh! But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Hold on. 
But when Kyoko found the magazine with the dying message in it, it was uh, on the magazine shelf. I got it! Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? D doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! Did you fucking find her dead and then panic and then decide to fucking write Toko's name in the in the magazine? Because that would be really stupid. There's definitely something strange about it. Kyoko found the dying message during the investigation, in which case... That clearly contradicts what Hiro told us. There we go. He fucking panicked and, and faked evidence, I bet. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. <laughs> it was only after the investigation had begun. Oh shit, I forgot how to fucking... I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I Girl. saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. Hmm. He said he saw the dying message when he first found the body. But at that time, where was the magazine? Magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Gotcha. No, it's wrong. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it, after we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene, so there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Hiro. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage Ogre left us, <laughs> and we know who the killer is! What? Let go! <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? <laughs> I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. Nah, fam. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true. Yeah, because that that uh that lends the most credibility. Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. The moment of truth. Oh fuck, here we go. God damn it! What am I doing? I'm fucking hitting everything! Help, help me! Wow, okay, that's what I needed to fucking learn. X. Fuck me in the asshole! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat my fucking whole ass, Monokuma. What am I doing? Finally, God! Show me the proof. Fuck Did you! It? Holy I'm shit! I'm really unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. Say what? Then, who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he would have had time to wash his fucking hands off. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. Ah! 
He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Because... Because I killed her! <laughs> I, I, I feel like... I feel like you... you no. <laughs> no, you're just an idiot. You're admitting to killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. I'm all ears, brother. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. Nobody asked you. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet as well. Oh, okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Uh, sure, thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. It's going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. You're a fucking idiot. She was going to kill me and make her escape. You're an idiot and a coward. So of course I freaked out, and then... God. This was my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. I'm fucking ashamed of you, hero. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! <laughs> well... That's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. There's no punishment for being an idiot. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. Fucking Owie's out for blood. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hero's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what is it that Hero did that doesn't make sense? What he would have to do after writing the message? It doesn't make sense. Why he picked Toko, why he didn't use Sakura's finger, why the magazine is hidden. I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Girl. Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. It's probably the person whose fucking name was written on Really? She's lying! He's gotta be lying! <laughs> I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. The idiot was willing to die. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then... Who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine... They must not have liked what was written on it. <laughs> Someone who wouldn't like what had been written. There's only one choice. <laughs> I got it! It had to be Toko, right? <gasps> no! N n not me! Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? I, I, God, everybody's such an idiot. Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... 
wait! But more important! That doesn't even matter! We already know who did it, right? <laughs> Hero just admitted it! Nah, fam. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Oh, last you! <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've only been fucking, like, running these goddamn trials since the beginning. Because everybody keeps fucking pushing it off on me, but all right. I don't doubt Hero attacks Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious! That's just... I don't believe it! Hero, tell us what happened one more time. One more time! If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. Joko's examination summary status of Sakura's body, yellow powder. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby, and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind, <laughs> and you only hit her once. That. Is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. Mmm, she was hit twice, though. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! It's gotta be the status, right? Hero hit Sakura, that's for sure. But this doesn't end there. There's something that proves that the wound's on her head. Just once. Boom. No, that's wrong. If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? Mm-hmm. That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. Yeah, and you just like to fucking play with them, you piece of shit. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on! How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. That's right! There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? We did a little experiment. That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should... Oh. The correlation between the Monokuma bottles, I feel like it's starting to become clear. I didn't mean to skip that. That connection must be... It's the object that the Monokuma figure inside each bottle is holding. Uh, chess piece. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, give me an E. Yep, and an S. And a P. Give me that P, baby. Give 
Oh, don't take that out of context. Uh, E. Where's the E? Give me E. Yes. And another E. Booyah! Now I understand. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. Mm-hmm. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... the knight, if I remember. Yes, sir. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. Yes, ma'am. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Shut the fuck up, hero. Yeah. Wait, no, <laughs> that's not what I mean. <laughs> so, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. Mm -mm. No, it's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait, then the bottle that was missing... It was broken! I got it! The bottle must have been broken. That makes you so sure because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? Mm-hmm. That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves that is... Kyoko and I figured it out before. <laughs> there's that fucking... There's, there's, there's too much glass. I think it's the glass shards on the floor, but yeah. Making sure here. Ah, this experiment. I got it. Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces of the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. We Bill Nye this shit. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is. There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Uh. So from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. I just noticed the Egyptian theme for this trial in the background. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by Sakura's second attacker, Ra. Some bowling aficionados. <laughs> I got it. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? Yeah, Toko! Motherfucker! <laughs> and there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... 
what, you had to have panicked because you left the magazine in there. You should have just fucking taken it with you and disposed of it. But there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Sh shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Jesus Christ, hero. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. <laughs> it was right after I got Ogre's note. I'm willing to entertain this bullshit. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. <laughs> you fucking would. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. <laughs> so, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? I have a pretty good fucking guess. You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Mm-hmm. Maybe someplace where the dust was a little fucked with. What? Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous! Whoa. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin! No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. And I have it. She left it there for everyone to find. A new element has been added to bullet time battles. Would you like to hear more? Fucking please! I about fucking pulled my hair out during the last one. So far, you've probably been pressing the Y button during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Great. Now you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de gras. You'll select it the same way as during the non-stop debate. Simply press the left bumper. Ah. Also, like the debate, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. Great. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless. Just this once, okay? Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you! Congratulations, everybody. We are halfway through the game. Well then, good luck and have fun. The moment of truth. Oh, balls. Oh, fuck. It's a lie! I admit nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. Shit. It's a lie! There we go. I have to use my peripheral vision here. Enough! It's a lie! I admit nothing. I hate you. There we go. Final strike. Glass shards on the floor. Locker handprint, baby! You should prove it. Boom! Finally, I fucking get it in one. Jesus Christ. Did you Christ. know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? He must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Fucking molesting the inside of that locker. Jesus. Does his handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay, then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? <laughs> you and your tiny hands. Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. There, was that so fucking hard? Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Well, you kind of have her cornered. Then you killed Sakura! No, I swear, there's no way! Out with it. I probably did kill her. <laughs> well, alright. 
Straight up again? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Huh. Now. Yeah, before he cracks an actual whip on you. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> so after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You didn't get to come in and manipulate the fucking crime scene, you piece of garbage? Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw that blood, I fainted. Right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Hmm. Her? You mean... <laughs> no, convenient. <laughs> Come on, guess who's back! Oh, God! It was your fault after all! My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see. Splatter! I was not prepared for that. Mm. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Good lord. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! Oh, no! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! <sighs> Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. <laughs> Don't drag me into it. No, by all means, please take him out. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... <laughs> but anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! So that's good? Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well then, that's that! Let's start the boat! Man... Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone. We're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. Nah, no. dude. Not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish is my command, darling! Jesus! 
not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is... I was just sleeping peacefully. Oh, were you? <laughs> and on that note, folks, give this video a like if you have been entertained. Meet me down in the comments. Let me know what you are thinking so far. We will work on wrapping this uh, trial up in the next episode. It might go on to a third one. These trials have been lasting a little longer as of late. So we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll catch you fine, fine folks in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>